Hey buddy, meet again with the movie adult recap. And as usual, this time we're going to talk about a movie called Two Mothers. The film tells the story of two men who have been friends since they were children. And they each have a mother who is already a widow. But it turns out that they like each other's mother. So what's the story? Let's go straight to the video. Before continuing this video, please click the subscribe button first. The film begins with a man who has just woken up from a wet dream. The man's name is Jun Hyung, and he sleeps at his friend Dae Jin's house. By the way, Jun Hyung is a man who has never had sex. Jun Hyung then goes to the bathroom to wash his underwear. And suddenly Dae Jin's mother whose name is So Yoon comes and surprises Jun Hyung. Seo Yoon asked herself to wash Jun Hyung's underwear. Dae Jin who knew about the incident immediately, made fun of Jun Hyung and laughed at him. So, both have a widowed mother and also has a hobby in the arts. So Eun likes to paint. While Jun Hyung's mother named Yoon Hee likes to play musical instruments. By the way, Jun Hyung often stays at Dae Jin's house. He wants to learn from Dae Jin how to attract women. Dae Jin is known to be very smart when it comes to women. The girl Yo Hyung likes is their classmate. The girl's name is Ji Yoon. However, it turns out that Ji Yoon actually likes Dae Jin more. And this movie starts. Meanwhile, Dae Jin who has no feelings for Ji Yoon. Then he left there with the excuse of going to work so they could be alone. But unfortunately, Jun Hyung is really stupid when it comes to romance. He spoils the beautiful moment that Dae Jin gave him. And elsewhere, reason Dae Jin goes to work. It turns out that he secretly went to Jun Hyung's house to help clean Yoon Hee's workplace. So, Dae Jin has feelings for Jun Hyung's mother. However, Jun Hyung's mother has absolutely no feelings for Dae Jin. Because he thinks of Dae Jin as his son's friend only. Yoon Hee also feels suspicious. Why Dae Jin always comes to his place when his son is not at home? Meanwhile, at Dae Jin's house is seen So Young painting a man who is not wearing clothes at all. And that man was So Young's boyfriend. Jun Hyung, who just arrived at Dae Jin's house, then hears a sigh-like voice. He was curious about that voice. It turns out that the sound is generated from So Young and her boyfriend who is having sex. But, Jun Hyung is surprised to know Daejin is already home. Finally Daejin's mother and her boyfriend immediately went into hiding. Luckily Jun Hyung has a kind heart. So he then throws at So Young's boyfriend's clothes. And Jun Hyung instantly distracts Daejin. So what his mother had done was unknown to Daejin. Daejin then tells him that today is his mother's birthday so they rush to celebrate. The next day, So Young is seen in the car with her boyfriend. And it turns out that his girlfriend asked to separate from So Young. So Young finally sad and disappointed with her boyfriend's decision. Meanwhile, Dae Jin, Jun Hyung, and Ji Eun are seen relaxing while drinking alcohol. And here Ji Eun looks very flirtatious and tries to seduce Dae Jin. But Dae Jin has absolutely no interest in him. Finally, because he really wanted to make love, Ji Eun then asks John Young to make love to her. But stupidly, because Jun Hyung is shy, he refuses Ji Eun's request. When already at home, Jun Hyung regrets refusing to make love to Ji Eun. Then came Seo Young, who was heartbroken because she had just separated from her lover. So they then confide in each other about the problems they are experiencing. And also, when the situation is favorable, they end up making love on the couch without anyone seeing them. Since that incident, Jun Hyung who already understands what it's like to making love. Finally, feels addicted and wants to do it again. So whenever there is a good opportunity, he always making love to So Young wherever they are. And even though So Young refused. However, Jun Hyung, who never gave up and wanted to making love, finally succeeded in tempting So Young to serve Jun Hyung's desire. Meanwhile, Yu Hee is seen holding an envelope, which turns out to be a divorce certificate. But Yoon Hee was still reluctant to accept that fact. Turns out her husband doesn't want to live with her anymore. Dae Jin, who sees it, tries to say that Yoon Hee should be able to accept that fact. Because actually there are people who are ready to love him back with all their heart and accept it for what it is. And that man is himself. 
Yun Hee was taken aback by Dae Jin's statement. Because he thinks Dae Jin is just a friend of his son. But Dae Jin has already confessed his feelings for Yun Hee. He must be able to convince his feelings in order to win Yun Hee's heart. For his efforts and determination, Yun Hee's heart finally melted. Then, Dae Jin who can't wait to making love to Yun Hee's sexy body. Finally they make love very passionately. But, while he was making love with Yun Hee, suddenly Dae Jin saw Jun Hyung walking into the house. Jun Hyung who saw Dae Jin making love to his mother. He was very disappointed and angry. Then, Jun Hyung ran and hit Dae Jin. Yun Hee immediately separated her son and her new boyfriend. He also apologizes to his son, if his act of making love with Dae Jin was just a misunderstanding. Dae Jin then tells everyone. That day Jin actually knows, if Jun Hyung did the same with his mother. He making love with Dae Jin's mother. Finally, Jun Hyung is speechless. He felt very ashamed and regretful now. And Dae Jin then took Yun Hee away. And left Jun Hyung alone. And Dae Jin is now officially in a relationship with her own theme mother named Yun Hee. Jun Hyung doesn't know what else to do. Then he went to see So Young and told all the events that were going on. And at the same time, he expressed his feelings to So Young. And it turns out that So Young also has the same feeling. So, finally they are now officially in a relationship too.